Ready? Number four. So, Zechorat Yom HaShabbat Lekudsho. And it continues. But remembering the Sabbath and making it special. Kadosh, holy in Hebrew, is also special. And I'm jumping. Um, so, remembering it, always be mindful of, you know, because God made the world in six days and on the seventh day he rested and on the seventh day created rest. So, rest is really important and you should always have that in mind. Rest and a place of rest and how do you call it in, in athletes um, terms it is called um, this day of re- workout and the day of recovery so always remember that place of recovery and make it holy make it special if you never rest if you never let go you'll burn out and in order to fulfill our essence and our meaning in the world you gotta you must have that structure. That's why I think, you know, this tradition and what our parents, ancestors wanted to give us. They wanted to give us structure because if you don't have any structure, you're kind of lost. In order to achieve freedom, you actually need a structure so you can be in the moment and not always think of the next moment. So the Sabbath, um, you're supposed to work six days. You're supposed to create. You're supposed to do. But you really, really ought to must and remember and make it holy that time of recovery because that is what allows you to rebuild and and regain and connect and create and even better create next time we're talking about the spiral you know you, you get back to the same place you get back to the actions but if you do that after rest after recovery again the sabbath is a term it's a term that means you you have that time, you have that chunk of time where you're productive and make it special, make it important to have that day of recovery. If you don't make that special, if you don't make that important, um, then either you just recover all the time, which makes you lazy and which you're obese, which kills yourself. I'm sorry. Um, spiritually at least, let's say. Um, make the resting special. Because when you re- make it special, you get enough of it, and then you're motivated to do. A lot of the secret of our motivation is just letting yourself relax, and that's relaxing from our thoughts. You're not supposed to think of of working on the Sabbath. You're not supposed to think of any work. Like I would say, even spiritual work. Just relax on the Sabbath. And if you want spiritual work, it should be special. It should be. Um, holy it's you know it should be something relaxing there's so many fine rules about you know you know that mindset of sabbath of just relaxing letting go um you gotta remember it and make it holy and make it special and also i think also you know and it continues goes to your people and your family and uh your neighbors and the gentiles like you know it's for everybody and the animals um you're supposed to really um, connect to that godliness that we all have, and that's how our system works. Um, the Sabbath, making it special, making it holy, and always remember it. Because when you remember it, even in eating rituals and health, if you know that one day, or whatever structure that your nutritionist tells you, you have that time where you're going to have the ice cream, you're going to have the treat. Um, physically and in, in, in marriage and like make that special time of emotional recovery or spiritual or physical or mouth recovery like you know whatever food recovery um always remember it and then you know you always know that you have something to strive for and you make it special and always remembering it puts you in peace of mind and and it also motivates you to work. Having that structure is just so important. Uh, and we could go on and on about the importance of rest and taking a break. They didn't experiment with mice, but they let them go through a maze over and over and remember the maze by heart. Um, and then one group, they let them take a break every time before they went through the maze again. And the other group, the mice just 
kept on going and going and going. And they measured how long it took the mice to remember um, the mice, the heart, if they have a heart, whatever. So the mice that had breaks remembered it. Um, they got to remember it three times faster than the group that had to go over and over. And that's to say, and connecting to all this research of, you know, over overdoing, overworking, and multitasking, you actually get less. If you do more, you actually get less. Um, you know, doing has its time, and resting is important. Because when you rest, even at night, there's research on sleep, when you rest, the brain uh, organizes all the information. And... You know, that's you know, and if you overdo it, sometimes it goes into your dream and messes with your head. But, um, but the recovery time, physically, you overexercise. You know, when you exercise, you kill cells, and you need that recovery time so your body is gonna, you know, get the signals of oh, the cells were killed, so I should build it a little bit stronger, and then you have a stronger body. That's why working out makes you stronger. Cardio does that to your heart. Um, anaerobic lifting does that to your muscles. You build muscle. In the recovery time. So <laughs> the recovery time is psychologically important because, it, you know, it's important for motivation, which is the, the, the psychological activity is motivation. Moving, motive, move. Um, physically, emotionally. Physically, we said, when you recover, you have enough time. You, um, your body become stronger in recovery. Uh, what else did we say? We said in, in muscles, we said in, in emotional, I forgot the rest, I think in eating. Oh, and the brain, right, psychologically. Um, the brain organizes information when you, when you rest. So the Sabbath, remember it, make it holy. Always have it in mind that there's a Sabbath and make it special.